Hi everyone, in this video I will explain how you can create a portal, um, let's say um, a network where uh, people from the, let's say, uh, close to your uh, network can connect to it. So the basic example I will take is the one of my, uh, so I have a flat and within my flat I would like actually to create a network that people near my flat uh, can uh, connect to and see a web page. So in order to uh, do so, we will need uh, to have a component, which is called the, um, the uh, node MCU V3. You can uh, buy it on AliExpress just for uh, $2. So this is uh, the one that I have uh, up here. It's, you can see uh, you have as well um, a cable. So that's uh, the cable that you can get uh, through any smartphones that uh, you have, so not that this cable should uh, not only give energy, but should pace uh, data as well. So that's uh, why the one that you have of your smartphone uh, will uh, uh, So this is uh, an Arduino card. So here I have my, uh, my Arduino uh, EDE um, running. So this is, uh, let's say, the program that I will uh, inject in. And in order to uh, select my program, what I did is I looked on the internet for the word uh, captive portal. So captive portal is um, is the word that we use in order to say that when someone's connect to this given network is uh, directly, let's say, redirected to a page uh, that we called the captive uh, portal. So uh, of course I did not uh, wrote this code because I don't know how to cut it. So uh, really, uh, thanks to uh, this and those contributors who created uh, this carrot on GitHub. So what I did is I just uh, copy and paste uh, the full code uh, that you have here, and I added it to my uh, project here in Arduino. Uh, in Arduino, what you need to do if you want to change the name of your SSID, so in my case, I create uh, my neighborhood, but I could... Um, just call it just for the sake of this video, uh, my neighborhood for YouTube. Um, here is, let's say, the web page which will be created when um, people uh, will go to the given uh, page. So here, just note that every time that you use a double quote or a simple quote, you need uh, to use this character uh, before in order to. Uh, let's say, um, escape this character and make it available. If you want to make a kind of fancy page, in my case, so um, I do not have any links to the internet in my case, so it's fully uh, working internally, so that's why I do not link to any external resources. Um, and I took actually an online HTML editor in order to make something a bit more fancy with a bullet point list and to have some colors, and then I just copy and paste this full part here that after I inserted uh, within my uh, within my code here. So just not as well um, that uh, only the last part need to have the uh, point and, and comma, the semicolon. And uh, yeah, that's, uh, <coughs> that's it. So once, um, once you have it, all you can do is just to um, <coughs> to upload it. So this is what I am doing now. Um, so it's it takes a bit of time because you have, of course, a lot of data that you would like uh, to pass it to. And so you just wait. So 24% and so on and so forth. OK. Mm -hmm. So now the full program is uploaded within the car. As you can see, the uh, blue LED is blinking. So we are injecting within <coughs> our Arduino card um, all this information out. Okay, great. And as a result, if you go uh, over here and you say, okay, I want to connect it uh, to a network and you say select the network, you will see that here you have uh, your um, SSID, which has been created. So this is the network. And if I connect uh, to this network, actually I could could give it a try. Yep. So normally now I'm connected to it. 
Oh, great. So, um, and I get actually my page, uh, which is coming in. So it's telling me, okay, welcome to my name world. Please find the different information you've been looking for and so on and so forth. So let's see now if I try to access to a page. So let's say, uh, yeah, so that's, um, that's what I need to understand, right? Why does it not uh, redirecting straight away to another URL? But I guess that if I do this, yeah, I get redirected anyway. So uh, that's not the perfect solution I guess you are looking for. I guess that in your situation, you may be looking for um, any URL the user would like to access to is automatically redirected to uh, this given page. I think it's um, I think it's possible. It's just that I don't know yet how to do it. So that will probably be the object of um, of another video. And uh, let's say that's um, that's it for today. So the only thing that you need to know is let's say this given URL that I will uh, copy and paste and put it on YouTube for you in order to access it. Uh, pay attention and escape actually the double quote or the simple quote with. Um, with a backslash here and as well um, regarding the SSID, this is where you can uh, modify it. Hope you enjoy uh, this video and thanks for watching.